How's it going guys? It's Dave here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to write chord progressions in a major key. The major key is known for being very kind of happy and joyful sounding. It can sound sad if you're playing at slower tempos but generally the major key is a happy upbeat kind of vibe. To write chord progressions we need to know what chords are available to us in the key of G major which is the key we'll be playing in today. Now the chords of G major are G major itself, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, and F sharp diminished. Typically, the most commonly used chords to create chord progressions in a major key are the first, the fourth, and the fifth chords of the key. So in this case, it would be G, C, and D. G being your one, C being your four, and D being your five. Let's start off our chord progression with the G chord, as that's the most effective way of letting people know that we're playing in a major key. Then you can use the four and five chords however you want to create your chord progression. So for example, I could play one, then four, then five, then four again. Now, there's a special quality about the five chord, the D chord here. This chord creates tension and it wants to resolve back into the G chord, which is your one chord. So your five chord serves the purpose of creating tension to be released by playing the one chord. Now that's a very important thing to note because if you wanna create a big ending to your song maybe, you could hold that five chord at the end of your chord progression and hold it even longer. Keep people waiting and then release the tension there at the end. So let's create a chord progression with the five at the end so you can hear how it sounds. We're just gonna play G, then C, then D. Here we go. See how it wants to finish at the G, like that. Now another common chord used in major key, uh, major chord progressions is the six chord and that is an E minor chord in this particular case, in the key of G major. So you can use the E minor chord as well to create a chord progression. Any of these chords that I showed you at the beginning in the key of G major work to create chord progressions, but the one, the four, the five, and the six are the most common and easiest chords to create chord progressions with. So let's try creating something with the sixth chord, which is an E minor. So I'm gonna play G, C, E minor, D. Just randomly thought of that just now. So G, C, E minor, D. Alright, so now you have some tools to go ahead and create your own major chord progressions. Please let me know how you get on with it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you get on with it. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video. If you really feel like my videos have helped you, then down in the description there's a link to my Patreon page where you can support my channel and what I do for just $2 a month. I'll have more videos coming up for you soon, so I'll see you in the next one.